this is Sonia and Simply Artisan and today we're talking about silking out natural hair. So we section out the hair. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six sections. And uh, I start with the side that is closest to me, closest to the, the implements that I'm going to use. I like to use the Babyliss um, flat iron. Uh, the Babyliss flat iron that is an inch and it has the various um, heat control settings. So I'm going to start her off at 375. I also like to use the Amica. Uh, flat iron, one inch, titanium, uh, very good because it helps give nice curl. The rounded edge gives a nice bump, but I use that at the end. I use this to straighten out our roots. Really what I want to do is make sure that I'm not putting too much heat on Stephanie's hair because her hair is very fine and it takes heat very quickly. So I'm going to go in with this and I'm going to focus on her roots only and then at the end of it I, when it's all straightened at the roots, then I'm going to go in and grab sections and bump it with the Amica flat iron. So these are the two irons I like to use. Also, when you're having a concern, pass me the mini. When you're having a, a concern about the flat iron, um, the hair being too straight, I, I also like to use the, thank you, the Babyliss mini iron and that will go right in and straighten the roots quickly around her edges so I will use that as well okay when it comes to silking out the hair I don't use much product at all you can use a thermal styling solution this is the frizzies heat defeat and it's really good it's protective styling spray it won't leave any residue on the hair and that's the thing that you don't want. You don't want any residue. You don't want any oils. Especially with her hair, her hair pro um, produces oil as the days go by. So the oil, her own hair will produce its own oil. And that's what happens when the sebaceous oil glands are healthy. Then they start to produce oil and you may find that if you're coming out of a relaxer and your hair is not as supple as it used to be when you were a child, what I found is that the relaxer has destroyed the sebaceous oil gland, which is a very delicate gland that provides sebum oil to the hair strand. So with continual processing, chemical processing, you really go in and you can either cause that sebaceous oil gland to be dormant or you can destroy it altogether. So what you may have to do is start focusing on conditioning uh, the scalp and the hair. I also like to use a nice um, apple cider vinegar rinse, um, mixing that with water. And um, when we use that, we use that at the bowl and that is with the last rinse. So we'll use the conditioner on the hair and then we'll use the apple cider vinegar rinse to get that pH balance going really good on her scalp. So what we'll start with is this section. It's all sectioned away. I know where I'm going, what I'm going to be doing with this section and once I'm done with this section I move to the next. So I like these clips. If you see in my other videos uh, these clips are very handy to have and if you check the other videos uh, you'll find how to comb out the hair especially with Stephanie's hair is very quick or her hair is very wavy but if you find that your hair is more coarse then you might have to go in and just observe the, that video give it a look and hopefully it'll have some healthy um, some pointers to help you move through your hair quickly so even if you're doing your own hair, it's really good to be able to start out sectioning your hair so you know where you're going. So get the root, move through the hair really quick. I go in at an angle because that's the best way that my hand moves at an angle. So I move in, I go straight to the root, put a little heat on the root and I move quickly through the ends. So there's no oil and there should be no smoke. 
So you don't you want to make sure that the irons are not too hot. With some hair textures, you may want to use a oil spray. I'll show you that. Suze at Audia. I really like her um, April Shine. And, um, but for Stephanie's hair, like I said, her hair produces oil over the process of the week. So she doesn't need any of this. But if you find that you need some oil or make your hair shine, then this is a very good product to use. There are some other out there, but this one is the one I like. You can get this in Allen in Plano, Texas. Um, so when you do it this way you find that the hair will have its own shine and it I like to call it silking it out silky hair and so it moves and flows and it has a lot of body so I move through the roots I leave the ends for the Amica iron which doesn't get as hot as the Babilis, but it is a good iron to have on hand if you find that you would typically put too much heat in your hair. See how that's moving? Very silky. And Stephanie works out and still has silky hair when she comes back in <laughs> the next week. It's a very simple process. Do you have to take small amounts of hair or large amounts okay. of hair? Yeah. Thank you. So I take a very fine section and that <clears throat> that is what is going to give you the body. And that is what's going to help you get right to the root. So I'll show you my next section. So I'll go in. Dada, can you see that? I'll go in. I'll take a very paper thin section. And see that section? Very thin. I go in at an angle. Only you know what works best for your hand. I hit the root and pull it through. And that will give you movement and that will get it straight at the root. So you can also use this technique using the comb on the back end of the flat iron to guide you through. Give you a smooth look. If you find that you're getting crimps Keep the irons moving and use a comb to guide you through.